for Red Sox fans, the association is automatic. When a home run sails over the Green Monster, you see the sicko sign flashing in the background. But the sign's days as a Boston icon could be numbered because BU is selling the property that it sits on. For people on a national stage, the sicko sign says Boston. When you think of what images the national media throws up for Boston, it's Old North Church, the Swan Boats, the sicko sign. Greg Gaylor is the head of the Boston Preservation Alliance. He's dismayed by BU's move to sell off this building without protecting the sign's future. Instead of putting out an RFP that says, anybody and anybody who wants to you know, bid on this property, bid on it, they could say, we'll only entertain proposals that protect the Sitco sign. But BU didn't do that. So now the Boston Preservation Alliance is pushing for the sign to be designated a Boston landmark, meaning that any changes to it would require a city review. This is one element of important part of Lakes Boston, Boston, the unique city that we love as locals, and why more and more people are coming here to live and why the tourists come here. So as you start chipping away at that, at what point is Boston not Boston anymore? Of course, some people would say that Kenmore Square has hasn't been Kenmore Square for years. Gritty venues like the famed Rathskeller are long gone, replaced by the Hotel Commonwealth and other upscale developments. Writer Louisa Kasdan recalls seeing the Sitco sign from her childhood bedroom on Bay State Road. If it's taken down, she says, the last vestige of her old neighborhood disappears. Kenmore Square is just another place. You know, it's another place. It's, it has now a nice tea station. It has Fenway Park. It has nothing kind of imaginative and cool to set it off. Naturally, Sitco wants the sign to stay put, and it's mounting an aggressive PR push, including this slick online tribute video. It's mean a lot to me, because every time you come into the city, the first thing you see when at night when it's lit up, it just goes up and down like a, like a pyramid. There is a note of irony there. Back in 1982, the company now known as Sitco was poised to tear the sign down until the city of Boston stepped in. At the time, the company opposed making the sign an official landmark. If it hadn't, the current crisis might not be an issue at all.